folks will start kind of thinking about that. Because if you let business run per their old framework and try and impose this on top of that, I mean, this won't work. They'll kind of treat this as a finance exercise. And I think the third kind of important thing really is to, you know, whatever framework you have, unless you get the right mindset to apply the framework, the framework is not going to be any good. Uh, at, the, at the cost of sounding provocative, I mean, Satyam followed IFRS for quite some time. That didn't, you know, stop Satyam from happening. You know, different, different stakeholders would have to be dealt with differently. But I think one of the most important things that we find is for organizations to identify these stakeholders and then have a, have a, a proper communication and change management strategy for that particular kind of group of stakeholders. Dr. Basu, how did you manage this communication challenge? I mean, the kind of company that SR happens to be, to be you know, the wide variety of businesses and number of people involved over here, how did you communicate this message to them in an effective manner and get them to actually buy in? What we have to have in, in, in IFRS is that the knowledge of accounting doesn't change, only the application of accounting has cha is changing. The substance over form is coming and it's becoming more transparent. In our organization, we depend more in internal communication than external communication. We identified a few accountants who are having the skill set or habit of thinking, habit of reading, and habit of applying. In addition, we had a very senior accountant to speak to us only what are the major differences between the IFRS and Indian Gap. We picked up from there and tried to apply those differential issues vis-a-vis -vis the transactions we have. The most important thing in IFRS you have to understand is that transactional processing is, is something and reporting is something else. At the time of reporting, you have to do many work. But at the time of transactional processing, you may not be ready. That phase we have now got into. At the time of transactional process, processing, we are becoming ready now. The issue here is that the internal resources, if they are provoked for it and brought into a framework of learning and given continuous, uh, continuous uh, uh, support and advice, and if they are nurtured with the help of a senior accountant from outside, lock them into a room, bolt the room, and then start thinking. Pick up each and every transaction of yours and see where IFRS applies. Before that, you have your menu ready, ready in the form of differential. So the point I'm trying to make here is that internally the organization has to be ready. Tonight is dedicated to business leaders who stand committed to ethics. NDTV Profit, India's most trusted business channel, honors the companies. And the winner in this category which have shown the way through. They stood confident in the India's emerging business capabilities through the toughest business environment. Do you have to be much better than a man to be successful? Hirko presents NDTV Profit Business Leadership Awards 2009. I do hope that uh, I live up to the expectations of all the people. Saturday afternoon at 3 on NDTV Profit. Business Leadership Awards is presented by Hirko Leadership Through Quality Communities. In association with Blowcal, blow away calories, keep the sweetness. Wealth with protection solutions from Birla Sun Life Insurance. Kingfisher Airline, India's only five star airline. ASK, 25 years of managing wealth. And process advisor, Grant Thornton. Every week, get the inside story on the technology that's changing your world. This voucher is the cornerstone of the technology. But how does this one piece of paper lead to all the rest? Siemens Answers for Business, Saturday night at 10, only on NDTV Profit. Siemens presents Answers for Business. The perfect way to rest your body is to sleep like you stand. Presenting Curlon Spring Mattress takes the shape of your body for that perfect rest. Curlon World Class Sleep Systems. Karina, please listen to my story. I am not lying. Don't try to fool me. I know that you were with Pooja. Babes, if I'm talking about a joke, I swear on you. At this time, I'll be struck by lightning. <laughs> Complete transparency with electronic playback logs. Introducing new medium in advertising. 40 million eyeballs. Over 1700 cinemas across India. UFO movies. Come advertise with us. 
Welcome to the world of Tuba. Watch more than 50,000 videos from different NDTV channels. You don't just watch videos on Tuba. You can also create a personal tube of your favorite video clips and share them with your friends. Log on to www.tuba.com. Come join play. Live from New York, all the business news that affects India. And over the next 30 minutes, we're going to take you through all the money and market news. Special reports and interviews with experts. The market can begin to stabilize. On the global trends that will hit home. Nasdaq live. Weeknights at 10:30 on NDTV Profit. Nasdaq live brought to you by Zylo. Time of your life. Sanjay, is your experience also in line with uh, what Dr. Basu said? I mean, how did you change, uh, or rather, how did you address this communication issue? You mentioned that uh, you know the Europeans and the kind of people that you were you know, overseas that you were dealing with were far more resistant to change than people here in India. How did you overcome that? I think the key uh, was bringing the stakeholders. I'm referring to internal stakeholders on board. Firstly, the board of directors of the company need to totally bite into it. This is the way to go. The CEO need to bite into it. If if all the employees hear it from the CEO that this is an Olympic minimum that we have to achieve going forward, you know, then I think the job is done to a very good extent. Then directly just a CFO or a finance guy say. Second is as as rightly pointed out in internal communication to your own people in the finance community, you know. take them offshore i actually did that we went out for two days and there was why do we need to do this we debated that then we did adopt you know a part of the remuneration linked to successful ifr implementation mm-hmm. you know and that that was very very key because otherwise why do i why do i why should i why should i why should i make my life uh, you know difficult going forward or so third is uh, process owners need to be identified if you are a company across operating across multi locations then have a process owner again i am linking it to a kind of an erp implementation where you are key users or process owners so a board level buy in a ceo sponsorship and communication to your internal people and a process owner you know at, at the key locations you know a mix of all these uh, actually was was what was done by me 3 years ago and we could actually do it